welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for almost nine years now. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my massive fabric haul. I went a bit overboard, if I'll be honest. I did not need any more new fabric. Uh, I will quickly show you my collection, even though a heap of stuff is in the way at the moment because I haven't cleaned the room. We have heaps up here, all here, all here. All that's new fabric too that I bought like last week. Here, here, all of that is full. And I also have a bunch in here. This massive pile is all my new fabric. So I thought it might be fun to just go through it all. I know how many meters I purchased, but if you want to comment below uh, with a guesstimate of how many meters is in these bags, yeah, let me know. And I'll tell you the total. This is the receipt. I don't know if I can even get it all in this is this okay i think there we go very large this is all from spotlight well it came to 630 dollars and i saved an extra 540 dollars from coupons and stuff so there was like a 20 percent off coupon and on top of the material i already got which was already on clearance and already 50% off the clearance price so a lot of this fabric I got for would have been two to three dollars a meter and I did get some full or full price ones which were down to ten dollars a meter but then I got, had the 20% off as well so they were actually down to eight dollars a meter which was a heap of linen stuff because I was like oh might as well stock up on that considering linen's quite expensive uh, when it's not on sale. Alright, let's get into it. <laughs> Start off with the bolts. Um, I could have got most of these back on the bolts because I purchased literally the whole bolt of any, I pretty much everything I purchased. This one I already have. It's called Garden on the website. But it was $20 a meter and I got it for, well, the clearance price was $4, which means I got it for $2 a meter, but with 20% off, $1.60. So we got this one. I also have just purchased this one too. I think I did pay, I bought it on clearance for the $8, but I would have got this one for like three something, 320 a meter. Really nice. This one is a complete roll. It's not even open, so it's 10 meters. It's called Sherbet. It's a polyester viscose, viscose, I don't know how to say that. And I decided to get the blue color as well. Got this one, which is one I've had in the past as well. I usually make exiles out of it, but I also like to make the regular size scrunchies too. It's like a corduroy fabric. Got quite a lot of that. Got some unicorns. I tried to get a heap of kid prints because the kid ones sell really well at market. I thought this one was really cute. There was heaps of clearance uh, cotton. I did get some bluey canvas too. Okay, I love this one. I called it Elena on my website. I don't really know what sort of fabric it is. It's a, kind of like a, oh here we go. It's a double cloth, double cloth fabric. And I thought they made really nice scrunchies and I love the colors. Ah, oh, that came in two lots. My beautiful red satin is on clearance. So I got the rest of that too. I also got the rest from another spotlight last week, I think, or the week before. Because I found on clearance. When, especially when satin goes on clearance, this sort of satin, this is the deluxe satin from Spotlight, I try and get all of it, any store close to me. Because, yeah, I don't like when colours go on clearance. <laughs> if my dusty pink ever goes on clearance, I'm going to cry. But yeah, so I got the red. Got this one. This one actually is a super old fabric. I've had this one since I probably first started the business nearly nine years ago. So it was nice to get some more of that because I haven't used it in a long time. This one's also a super old fabric. This one's really expensive too. I think this one was like, oh, it was definitely over $20 a meter last time I purchased it anyway. It wouldn't have been too expensive when I first started buying it back in the day. But it's the quilting fabrics have gone up so much. So that's another cute little pink one. I always run so low on pink, like pink florals. So I tried to get 
pretty much any of the pink florals that were on clearance. Got this one. This is another one I have had in the past, but it isn't on my website. This one is on my website. It's another cotton one. And this one made the cutest little scrunchies too. And nice bows. Now I'll point out, most of these won't even be on my website next year. I'll be only having like 100 prints on the website. And then I will be doing limited edition releases. Which at first I said 50, but there's no way I'm going to be doing 50. I think it would be more around the... Even 10, I don't know, 10 to 25, I think. Depends on the month, depends on my workload, I guess. And purchasing the whole bolt of these will make it easier on me too. Because then I don't have to keep changing out the ones that will be available all year round. This one was an absolute steal. <laughs> so this one usually is like $27 a meter. Um, it's a satin. And I paid that much as well. Uh, probably wouldn't have been 27 It would have been on special, like maybe 40% off. But... Or maybe it was 21. I don't know. I can't remember exactly how much it used to be. But I got this one for like $4 a meter. So I was very, very excited for this one. It also comes in a mint color. But I make my XLs out of it. And it's such a nice fabric. Alright, we're up to the next bag. I'm going to stack all these back in. Got this one. This one's just a poplin. So I'd probably use this more for my DIY packs that I have. I'm also going to be releasing um, deluxe DIY packs for, like, at the moment I do DIY packs that are more for hand stitching rather than the rather than a machine. Next year I'm hoping to release probably like 30 that are for the deluxe, so making XL scrunchies and making scrunchies with my measurements because I don't use my measurements for the hand stitch ones, putting in Gitterman thread and stuff, yeah, and like designing the box. So that's something I'm looking forward to as well. But yeah, this one's a nice, cute one. I love this print. I've got this in like a mustard color, but I thought this was such a fun print. I'm not really into red, but you know, other people are. <laughs> and red and purple seem to sell pretty well. It's another cotton one. This one was like really cheap. I think this one was actually $2 a meter. Let me double check this one because I remember looking at it and going... <laughs> so this one was two dollars meter, so yeah, it would have come down to like a dollar sixty. This is a rayon. I've been trying to stay clear of rayons because I can't make them into XLs, and they are really nice patterns though in the rayon. But I thought I might get these because if I don't make it into scrunchies, I can always use it uh, for when I finally start the overlocker slash you know dressmaking part of my YouTube channel. Which I plan to next year. We'll see. Some of these fabrics I have actually purchased thinking, oh yeah, I can probably make that into something I would wear rather than scrunchies. Quite nice. I don't know if it has a defect. It might have a defect for being that cheap. Not sure. It would make a nice like summery dress. This one's a market one. So it is bright and colourful and also has sparkles. Definitely uh, very... <laughs> Very market orientated that one. This one I only purchased because it was cheap um, and it's so soft. I just know kids literally <laughs> at the markets, a lot of children will pick up anything that's soft and like, <laughs> like I don't blame them. <laughs> it's so soft. But this one is, yeah, definitely huggable. Now I was thinking I could either make this one into like a blanket for my niece or I could definitely make some scrunchies out of it. It just, you won't be able to see a lot, but being fluffy and being these sort of colors of the rainbow, I think they'll sell well either way. And I did get a whole bunch of it, so I could definitely do both with it, but definitely a market one as well. The reason I have a lot of like the kids prints at markets is because I found a lot of them didn't really sell that well online. I think I have a different audience online. This one, so it's shiny metallic mermaid print although it is like a weird fabric to make stuff out of because it is this sort of color and it's like a it's almost like a dance lycra they sell quite well at markets got another rainbow so i try and make the rainbows into bows and scrunchies at markets we got this one i love this one for scrunchies it's just very subtle texture to it like is it shirt i don't know i think so maybe mm. yeah it's like i called it ivory shirt on the website and it's really pretty and i'd make a really nice dress if i was to or a top even like a little crop top not that i wear crop tops but you know just for making purposes 
um, it'd be fun. I got a bunch of this one. I don't know how this one would go, honestly. It's more of like a baby print almost because it is so pastel. But we'll see. I find like the brighter colors sell really well at market. But because it's rainbow, I was like, I'll give it a go. I did get this one. Again, really large print. But it is super pretty. So I thought I'd give this one a bit of a go. Even if I was to just make ha hair bows out of. I thought this one was really cute. It's another cotton one. Pinks and purples. And floral. This one, I think I had face masks in this print. Or at least in like all the other colours. So this one I think was a $2 metre one as well. So I just bought the whole thing. It's not something I would... I guess use um, usually for scrunchies, but it is yellow, which is quite in at the moment. And I mean, for two dollars a meter, I feel like a lot of the clearance stuff you'll probably see me making the dresses and stuff out of because I don't want to use, especially like with my skill level, which is zero at the moment. Um, I don't want to use something that's expensive to, you know, do my first sort of trial dresses and trial tops and skirts. I don't know. So something like this might make it a bit easier on me to like just test stuff out. And knowing it was next to nothing helps a lot <laughs> with me with that. Because I'm a bit of a fabric hoarder. I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> yeah, I don't like using fabric. Especially for things that like, I'm like, oh no. Because like, what if I mess up? And yeah, so having ones that are cheap, <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, I, I can do it without feeling guilty about it. Okay, we've also got this one, which is a nice mermaid print, and it's got like a really subtle gold to it. So I think that one would be very popular. Then we got this one. So this one's called Meredith on my website, and I love it. I'm gonna do this mini bag. Oh yeah, and that's my the coupon. And it wasn't even that coupon, actually. I used a different coupon. I used the one which is 20% off everything. I just, I got it in my emails. So it worked out well for me. Alright, so these ones weren't on, like, clearance. These were just on sale. So I got some linen. I only got, like, a meter of these. So I got that one. I got this one. This one, this one, and this one. I figured out that I have no linen at markets. So I was like, oh no, gotta, gotta get some more linen. I probably have heaps in the wall, but yeah, I just wanted to get some more colors that are popular at the moment. Because I think a lot of the colors I have in the wall are like your rust, rusty orange, burnt orange sort of color, your mustard, which are still nice, but they're not as on trend as your blues and your purples and greens and pinks at the moment. There's certain colours, certain tones that are definitely more on trend and they're selling better. Alright, this is the last bag. So I wasn't originally going to get these ones because it's a linen one which isn't really much of a linen blend. Linen's a bit harder to sew with because it can like split apart. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had like linen pants before. They, yeah... They can just split if you don't do it correctly. So I sort of, I don't really make proper linen scrunchies. I make linen blend. So it has a cotton in it. It's a much tighter weave. It doesn't tear apart as easy. Whereas this one, because it is such a wide weave, it probably would. So I probably wouldn't make scrunchies out of this one unless I was like maybe overlocking. But I thought it would be great to do some like little... I don't even know, dresses out of. I keep going back to dresses because I feel like that's probably going to be what I'm going to be making the most of. I got it in this colour too. So I got like a dusty pink and a green. And I thought that would be really fun to make stuff out of. I also got these colours for the linen. So I have that one and that one. I probably should have got white linen. I don't know why I didn't. And black. I don't know why I didn't. I probably didn't see them there. Maybe they were out of stock. Here, we've also got this one. So that one's a double cloth. I have had this one before on the website. Okay, so I think a lot of this bag is the bag that I chose not to get the whole bolt. I only got like a meter or two because I wasn't really sure if I'd sell, but they were cute and I wanted to just have a little bit of it. So I have some wombats. I find it a bit hard to sell the Australian range on my website. And at markets, I don't know. They just don't really sell that well. I thought this one was super cute. 
It's little bunny rabbits. So I was thinking hair bows and scrunchies for Easter. I probably should have got more of this one if I'll be honest because I could have made my niece a really cute little dress out of it for Easter but I didn't really think of that at the time. <laughs> I got this one. So because it's bright and colourful it will sell really well at markets. I had a different version of this. I don't know if I still have any left, probably not, but it was, yeah, pencils again, but it was a smaller and they sold really well. I think I have a bit more black in it though than this one. Got this one, gold in it, very cute. Be nice for scrunchies and bows. And this one, again, gold, pink, perfect for scrunchies and bows. I like the quilters cotton for the bows because they have more structure and shape with them. I also like them for scrunchies too. They make cute scrunchies. This one, so it's very similar to one of the other ones I have, but it doesn't have as much pink and purple in it. This one, I don't know how this one would go, so I only got a little bit of it, but being rainbow colors again, thought maybe. Oh, got another linen one, it's a nice green. Oh, and the rest of these are linen. So these ones, were on special for ten dollars and I got them for eight because I had the 20% off coupon. Got this one. Some of these were like thirty dollars a meter, by the way, uh, originally. This one. And I got between a meter to three meters of the linen. With the pattern ones I did get two to three, but with the plan I got one meter. So we've got this one, which I've had before, um, but I haven't had it online. It was for a custom wholesale order. Same with this one custom wholesale order. I thought these ones were really cute too. Nice and bright. And of course, can't go past a blue daisy print. All right, and this is my last one. So I got three meters of this one because it was purple linen and flowers. How pretty is it? It's gorgeous. So I thought that one would be really fun. I just realized I have the exact same print in the blue over here that I got on clearance. I got a whole bolt of it, but I got it in purple now. And purple and green have been selling really well at markets lately. I don't know why. Just that they're the colours of choice at the moment. Like there has been a lot of pinks and like darker colours, mustard selling, but I find purple and green I'm having to restock nearly every market. Yeah, that that is my massive fabric haul. For anyone wondering, the meterage was 177 meters. So there's a lot of scrunchies. If I'll be honest, it's not actually that many scrunchies if I was making XL scrunchies out of because I make six, uh, it's not even six, I think it's like five, five and a half scrunchies per meter uh, for the XLs. But if I was to make my regular size scrunchies or like bows and stuff, I would be, yeah, it would take me a long time to get through these. That's everything. My most commonly asked question when I do these sort of videos is how many meters do I get of each like fabric? Most of the times when I do these videos, it is me going crazy for the clearance fabric. So I usually buy the whole bolt of clearance because in the past I just, I had like mad like, is it, no not fear of missing out, not FOMO, it's like regret I guess for not buying the whole bolt because you know it might be a, might be a really good seller and I'd be out of it really quick and obviously you can't get any more. I usually just buy the whole bolt now and because it's so cheap anyway that means more profits for me in the long run once I sell it all and I mean these patterns and prints and stuff, they are so pretty. Like, I don't know why they're on clearance, you know? So, yeah, I'm I'm very happy just to buy the whole lot. Nowadays, when I first started, though, making the scrunchies, I would probably... Actually, literally, when I first started making scrunchies, I would only buy 20 centimeters. So that would make six, six scrunchies out of that when I'm with my old measurements. Uh, well, four to six. It depended on the fabric base. So I'd only literally buy 20 centimeters. Now that I'm more, I guess, established and I have the room and the uh, means, I guess, I don't know, to purchase all this, I, yeah, definitely feel like I'd, I'm i fine just purchasing the whole bolt. And, like, if I don't use it within the next year, that's fine with me. I can always, like, make dresses out of it and stuff. Like, I can always sell it. Like, I'd just rather have it, you know, <laughs> fabric hoarder. It happens. As for like the linens and stuff, they weren't on clearance. They were still like $8, which is still quite cheap, but it's, you know, not, you know, 2 or $3 a meter, you know. So I purchase usually, generally now, between 1 to 3 meters of fabric when, yeah, when it's not on 
massive clearance or anything. And if it's like not on special, like really good special, I'll only purchase a meter if I'm desperate for it. Otherwise, I'll wait for it to come on special, especially for Spotlight. I have purchased a few different colors online of different satins. There's also been, I don't know, some corduroy and stuff online recently. For those, I would only get a meter as well. Mostly because I can't feel it. I don't know what I'm getting. But also because, yeah, you know, it's it adds up when you put more than a meter in the cart. So, yeah, it's a bit different for ones that aren't on, like, this crazy special. That's my fabric haul for, and my last one for 2022. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know below what was your favorite one. You can timestamp it if you like. Just put, like, what time was that? All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you.